SM says, why do grape flavored things taste like the scent of Mr. Sketch purple marker? Oh yeah, I've been sniffing the markers again, eh? Uh, actually, they aren't. You've just inhaled so many Mr. Sketch markers that your brain now registers everything grape as Mr. Sketch. Sorry, it's just you. It's different for the rest of the population of the world. I'm sorry. S Rice Cake asks, why does carbonated water taste like TV static? Okay, what I wanna know is, how do you know that? Boy, between SM and you, y'all got some weird old factory habits, that's all I'm saying. I think you guys need to join some 12-step program or something. Maybe you already do and you're in it together. The real reason is that a tragic accident happened when a TV manufacturer and a bottled water company occupied the same space. And when they went to clean it up, they just kind of looked at the mess and scratched their heads and said, there's got to be a way to sell this. So they did. So you're right. Since I already told you how to make coffee in a previous video, Joelle wants to know, how do you make tea? No, no. See, the real question here is, why would I make tea? No, sorry, I delivered that wrong. I mean, why on earth would I make tea? Like, am I sick? Blech. Have I come down with the bird flu? Have I got the plague? No? Then no tea for this guy. I mean, I pretty much only drink tea if I'm sick. And what other reason would I have to have it? It's like discount coffee. It's worse than discount coffee. It's like decaffeinated decaf. Instant coffee. So I don't drink it often. Oh, unless it's iced tea or certain flavors of David Steep tea. Thank you, Tammy, I love those. But that's all. Forever and ever, amen. Living Faith Squad asks, why aren't hot dogs flammable, but marshmallows are? Hmm, ah yes, the deep questions in life. I'm recording, right? Oh yeah, good. <clears throat> you see, Living Faith Squad, it's all about exposure. When you expose a marshmallow to fire, it doesn't take too long for it to combust. If you expose a hot dog to fire for the same amount of time as the marshmallow, you get salmonella. Blech. But if you expose the hot dog to fire long enough, it'll eventually burn. Now, if you expose the hot dog to gasoline first, oh, it'll burn. It will burn like Ed Sheeran at the beach. It'll burn. I should probably make a warning about not trying that at home because it's dangerous, but Ed Sheeran would probably just get upset. So I won't. That's gonna do it for today. Thanks for asking, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later. I'm going to go make myself some coffee now. Bye.